Do you want to know how your model is going to fly? Will it be fast or floaty? Or will it be quick in doing spins? Do you want to know when will your plane stall and what will be its landing speed? If so, this video is for you. In this video, we will look at what wing loading is, how to calculate it, how it differs for different types of RC models, and how it is used to determine the design's performance. Wing loading is simply the weight of the aircraft divided by the area of the wing. It is usually given in units of ounces per square feet or newton per square meter. For the initial design of a new model, some major decisions must be made, such as the type of power plant, performance goals, wing plan form, airfoil, estimated weight, and wing loading. Here are typical values of wing loadings. Gliders and sailplanes have low wing loadings, sport models are in between, and pattern models have wing loadings on the higher side. For comparison, planes with low wing loadings have low stall speeds, are easier to fly, have larger wings, and are kind of floaty. Planes with high wing loadings have high stall speeds, are harder to fly, tend to be faster, and have smaller wings. Wing loading is used to calculate the stall speed. If you fly your model slower than this speed, it will stall. Stall speed is also used to determine the plane's landing speed. Here is the formula to calculate stall speed. Rho is the air density, which is around 1.225 kilograms per cubic meter. V stall is the plane's stall speed and CL max is the wing's maximum lift coefficient. CL max for most wings is around one. If you use flaps, CL max increases. In this formula, make sure W is in newtons and not in kilograms. Multiply W by 9.8, one to convert kilograms to newtons. Add 20% safety margin to this speed to find the landing speed. High wing loading design also helps to make planes more maneuverable. When the wing loading is high, the wing is operating at a larger coefficient of lift. This larger CL value is closer to stall, and thus it is easier for the airplane to enter into wing stalling maneuvers, such as spins, snap rolls, etc. Now, let's look at the design process. Step 1. Estimate your design's gross weight, or all-up weight. Step 2. Decide your wing loading based on how you intend to fly this plane. Step 3. Calculate wing area by solving for S using this formula. If you already have the wing designed, you can calculate the wing loading and estimate what kind of flight characteristics the model will have. Generally, Higher wing loadings are better as they provide stronger wings, are faster and less floaty. However, high wing loadings can cause a very high stall speed and landing speed, which makes the plane difficult to fly and land safely. One way to reduce landing speed for high wing loading planes is to use flaps. Flaps can be used to increase the CL max of your wing. Here are some typical values for CL max when using flaps. In summary, we saw how wing loading affects how your airplane will fly, at what speed it will stall, and what kind of landing speed can be expected. If you want to design and fly your own aircraft, here is a list of free tools you can use. Thank you for watching.